What is up guys and gals, it's me Thomas Santa one here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Predacon Megatron and a beautiful figure this makes, okay? This figure is just, nah, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's just so gorgeous. I've wanted one of these for a long time and I finally got one. <laughs> so... Um, really quick, he does come with an effects part, which you can totally shove into the mouth up here. It just pegs on right in, like so. And there you have him, and there you have the fire-breathing dragon Megatron. I wish it was the ice ray, but I don't really care. This is, it's still beautiful. It's still beautiful. Don't care. We're, we're, it's still beautiful. Mm-hmm. So... Now that we've taken a look at the dragon here, we're going to take it off to the side and we're going to replace it with the packaging because the packaging has a couple of weird oddities on it here. So in terms of the packaging here, you've got the obvious you got the obvious Megatron black getting ready to blast y'alls with his dragon head and everything of that nature and you got the dragon in the background. This is not transformed properly. However, it's in the the jet mode. Um, cause if you do, cause if anybody remembers in the original Beast Wars cartoon, Transmetal 2 characters always had two different modes. They had a jet mode and a, or they had a, a vehicle mode and a beast mode. Rat Trap turned into a go-kart. Uh, he turned into a plane. Um, the secondary, or the trans, or the first, the Transmetal Megatron, the very first Transmetal Megatron, that one was pretty... Um, that one it was pretty rough to get to because that one had like jet si jets coming out the side. Optimus Primal had like he had like four different modes: monkey mode, car mode, jet mode, and robot mode. So, I mean, yeah. But anyways, this beautiful artwork here on this packaging is just I just I I don't I don't I, you, Hasbro you keep knocking it out of the park with this stuff. I will keep buying it. We got Megatron on the side here. Nice little grrr face. Blah, all that. So, anywho. Um, so, you've got all the product shots on it. Um, that's what he looks like in robot mode. There's dragon mode, all that fun stuff. You can scan the QR code. Free QR code on me. I don't care. Um, so, but yeah. Is one stinking beautiful box, and on the side here you've got the legacy, the typical legacy packaging artwork here. So we're gonna take this box and set it off to the side now, and we're going to bring the figure back on in here, because this guy is a honking monster of a figure. I mean, just look at this thing. This thing is the, the living embodiment of leader class at least in the dragon mode in the dragon mode at least you got that um now real quick there is a one slight factory problem with my copy of the toy there's a purple smudge on this wing from these bit these bits here and the opposite side of this piece of the wing and this is the full wingspan that you're going to get out of the dragon here i mean it might look a little weird we're going to remove this for the video because we don't need this in the mouth the whole time as cool as it looks but um only thing I can say that I that I don't like about the dragon mode is this piece here, and that's it. Like, there's no way to cover up his hand, his the robot mode hand. There's no way to cover that up at all. Um, and uh, I mean, he's smelling his own ass, so I mean, that could be that could be really fun. Um, so yeah. Um, so in terms of scale, uh, here he is with one of our previous reviews, Transformers Studio Series Rise of the Beasts Optimus Prime, just so you can get a sense of how it scales with a brand new figure. And here he is with a future review, Leo Convoy. I was finally able to find this dude. Here he is with Voyager Kingdom Monkey Man. And like I said, you can just see he towers over all of it. Just sorry for booping the snoot. Um, bring him back off to the side here. Um, and uh, here he is with Kingdom Golden Disc Collection, Pterosaur. 
He's the next review after after uh, Leo Convoy. And because I'm pretty sure you saw him peeking in frame in the, earlier in the video, here he is with Kingdom Voyager Dinobot. And mine have ankles of weak constitution. So, yeah. And this is, this is, you guys have seen, hopefully you guys have seen my Dinobot review. I'll leave a link to that down below if you want to check it out. Um, but I customized this dude, and I honestly don't think there's a massive difference if you just add the gold paint yourself. Uh, to the new one that's getting released in like a couple of a couple of months. So, and it's the same mold too. So, that being said, while I have you all here and paying attention, what is it with Hasbro and repaints and slight remolds? Why would you do such a thing? It's a tragedy. So, now that we've done that. And we've gotten all the comparisons done and out of the way, and we keep booping that snoot on this dude. Um, let's get him into one of the three different modes that he has. So we're going to start this off with the jet mode, as per usual, like it would have normally been. Um, what I like to do in order to, in for transformation, I like to take the wings, and they are on separate hinges, so you can bring these pieces down individually. I think that was a very nice touch from Hasbro. Thank you know, thank you very much on that front. Um, so just to, it just kind of keeps everything kind of nice and clean a little bit. Um, just so that it, it makes everything a lot easier. So, now that we've gotten the wings taken care of, you're going to just kind of fold them back, straighten out the tail, straighten out the dragon neck, close up the mouth. You're going to then take the arms and kind of just bring them up and just kind of, kind of just have them like sitting up here just a little bit. There's not really a spot for you to tab it in, um... So do the same thing on the other side, just bring it up, fold that in just kind of like so. Just kind of just kind of make it, you know, just get just get keep the arms out of the way is the, is the whole gist of it. The legs are basically the only thing that we're going to transform out of this whole thing. So you're going to straighten out or uh, no, straight you're going to straighten out the leg, and then you're going to bring it all the way in like this, and then you're going to it's it's a funky fit, but basically this is kind of what the jet mode is supposed to look like. It's it's really stupid. But um yeah, you're basically just gonna flatten this whole thing out, like so. And you're basically just doing this. Like these arms, if they are still in the way by the time you get to this part, you know, they shouldn't be. But yeah, and there's no real locking in point for this either, so if things do not lock in, it's not that you're transforming it wrong, it's not that anything is getting misdone, it's just that there. this is a fan, this is a fan mode first, so uh, then just kind of, and because this thing is a monster of a figure, this is, it's difficult to maneuver. Okay. And straighten out the neck one more time. And there you have him in his jet mode. Anyways, so now we're going to get into the actual transformation of this figure. And he will shrink down quite a bit. So, um, first thing you're going to want to do is, is you are, go are going to want to straighten out the, le the, the dragon legs. Fold down the feet and just kind of bring it off to the side like this. And we're going to basically do the same thing. We're going to do this, fold it down, flip down the foot, or fold down the foot, and you're basically there. And then you're going to come to this faux chest section here. You're going to open it up, and then if these don't do it already, you're going to take them and untab them, untab these crotch sections from here. Uh, and this is this will just kind of accordion up like so. Just enough to get it out of the way. Just to kind of keep all of this out of the way for now. So then you're going to take the legs. You're going to shimmy them in. Basically just do what you did with the Kingdom Megatron. And just push it all in. Make sure everything in the waist and all that is secured in place. My figure is just a little weird with the plastic. So it's not going to sound like it's going to snap into place. Or click into place. Or clip into place. Or peg into place. Or whatever be. 
So this is this is a, this isn't a brand new figure, but it is an old it is it isn't an old figure either. So then we're going to come down to Dino Arms. I'm going to basically flay them outward. Uh, at the at the bicep section here because these ta there are uh, slots here and there are tabs on the inside there's hold on here. slots and tabs right there so you're going to be basically just pull them out to the side just a little bit enough to get that whole thing out of the way and then just to make everything easy you're going to basically fold in the dragon hands uh, just like so just to kind of make it all a little bit more flush do the same thing on the other side pull it around make sure this whole thing sits flush and there you have the chest pretty much ready to go and then you're going to come to these side sections here uh, where these where the tabs where these dragon arms went in and you're going to bring them out like so and then you're going to rotate this whole section here like so and then I'm going to basically kind of close it up just a little bit just just for now just to kind of secure everything we will go back in and unlock it now you're going to come to this little panel here i'm going to open it up and you're going to swing this arm out like so and you're going to fold down the arm flip out the hand close up the chest but first we have to go back to these pieces here and bring them back outward not too bad then we come back into actually real quick close up this piece here don't forget to do that once again you should never take my advice until you've seen the whole video all the way through um, then you're going to completely close up this whole section here bring up the arms so that way you can close up that and it fills in those gaps they literally did think of everything with this figure except for one piece which we're going to get to and we're almost there rotate the shoulders bring the arms down or bring the dragon head down and we're literally on the home stretch here so now you're going to come up here and we're going to bring that down bring this forward and then kind of just collapse the whole thing together and this head does shift forward so you are going to shift it forward in dragon mode so shift it backwards for robot mode and then when you're closing up the chest there are these two slot there are these two pieces here uh that you're going to want to just kind of let me see if i can get this on camera here in the light to be specific um so basically when you close up the chest section and make this whole thing look like it's supposed to there's a whole section that needs to go inside the chest and it slides in but on my copy of the toy it doesn't like to stay put and then you just bring the dragon tail down and then flay out the wings just enough just enough doesn't have to be perfect and there you have beast wars transmetal 2 megatron in his robot mode and I dig the way that this looks. I think it's beautiful. I think it's amazing. I think it encapsulates everything that the TV show had. Only problem I have with this dude is when you get up close and personal to his face. Why does he have these sharp teeth? Like, why does he have them at all? So, yeah, those teeth just not doing anything for me. And, uh, like I said, the dragon arms do not like to stay in place very much. So, there are the dragon hands here that complete the look of the chest. I like how the whole thing just does that. But, alright, so moving back out here. Um, there's not very many poses you can get this thing in, um, except for doing something like this. And, if you want to, I mean, you can do what Megatron was doing on the box. Which is, you can open up the dragon mouth. But because the dragon head is so stinking heavy, when you bring in your effects piece, it's at an angle. Actually, the peg's at an angle, firstly. So, I mean, it looks ridiculous. So, me personally, I remove this when I display my Megatron. And I basically just bring it down, bring this arm down like so, and I just have the head going like that. And that straightens everything out, and it just makes it look a little bit more uniform and a little bit more pretty. So, 
And so now we're going to do some comparisons. So, as I said previously, here he is next to Kingdom Voyager Dinobot. And here he is with Leo Convoy, or Le Le Voyager, or Legacy Evolutions Voyager Le Leo Convoy. And as you can see, he just towers over everybody. Back off to the side here. Um, here he is with Monkey Man. Bananas. Here he is next to Pterosaur. And last but not least, here he is next to Rise of Studio Series Rise of the Beasts. Voyager Prime, which I will leave a link in the description, thanks to our sponsors today, Planet Toys, a world built by collectors, where you can actually purchase one of these guys. Uh, prices are going down in some areas, so I will leave a link to this dude in, uh, down in the description below where you can purchase him. So, anywho, this is Thomas Fano one saying, don't forget to subscribe for more content, don't forget to leave a like on this video, don't forget to subscribe to Optination Reviews, Beastman Reviews, iStar552, Bravely GG, Take Along Productions, Jordy's Rail Fan Videos, Memphis Rail Fan Productions, and Riveted Rail Fan, or Riveted Rail Fan Reviews. And this is Thomas Fan One saying, don't forget to do all the things I said previously, and don't forget to keep playing with your toys.